Today, I'm gonna show you how to downgrade from macOS Sonoma to macOS Ventura on M1 Mac. This Mac is currently containing Ventura. So I'd like to show you from upgrading to Sonoma and after that, downgrading to Ventura. Backup is important when upgrading. Time Machine Backup is provided on the Mac OS, so I'd like to take a Time Machine Backup first before the upgrade. Then after the upgrade, I'll make a backup too. And I'll test recovering data from the Time Machine Backup with Sonoma on Ventura. This MacBook Pro has a 1TB SSD capacity, so I need to backup to a larger disk. This device is to connect a naked 3.5-inch hard disk by USB connection. The disk capacity is 4TB. I'd like to divide two partitions of 2TB each. One is for Ventura, and the other is for Sonoma. Now that I want to initialize the hard disk, I'll launch the disk utility. This is the 4TB hard disk. First, click Erase and set the title as HDD. The recommended format to take a Time Machine Backup is APFS, so I select APFS. Set as GUID Partition Map and click Erase. The HDD is now recognized. From here, I will divide the drive into two partitions. Click the Partition button here. Input 2 in the size, and divide into half in this way. The new partition is now untitled. So input the name as Sonoma HDD. Click the partition button. Now the disk has been divided into two partitions. The disk is ready now. Now I select the general time machine from the system setting and open this screen. Click the add backup disk and select the HDD. Click the setup disk button. Turn the encrypted backup switch off. Click down button. The HDD drive was recognized as a backup disk. Click the Time Machine icon on the menu bar and click Backup Now. Now the backup has started, so wait until it ends. The Time Machine backup has been completed on Ventura, so I'd like to upgrade to Sonoma. Click Upgrade Now here. Click Agree. Enter the password and press the Enter key. Disconnect the Time Machine backup disk here. Wait for a while until the upgrade is over. Since I was able to upgrade to Sonoma successfully, I like to connect the hard disk again and take a time machine backup in another partition on Sonoma. I connected the hard disk to my Mac, click the plus mark, and select Sonoma HDD, and press the setup disk button to proceed. Turn off the encrypted backup and press down as a disk usage limit known. The Sonoma HDD is now a partition for the Time Machine Backup. Click with two fingers on the partition of the Sonoma HDD selected. Then it will appear with Backup to Sonoma HDD now, so click here. It seems that the backup cannot be started until the synchronization with iCloud is completed. There's a moving progress mark next to iCloud, so wait until it is completed. The mark turned into a check mark next to iCloud, so I'll try it again. Click with two fingers and click back to Sonoma HDD now. Backup has begun. It'll take some time for a while, so wait until it ends. The Time Machine Backup has been completed. I think it's okay because there's a notification of backup complete in this way. 
then, since I was able to back up on Sonoma, I will make an installation medium to downgrade to Ventura. Start the browser and enter Mac OS install media and search. Click the top search result. Click this link to download Ventura from the App Store. Click Ventura 13. The download screen of Mac OS Ventura is now on, so click the Get button. Click Download and wait for a while as the Ventura download has started. Ventura download has been completed. There is a message that this installer cannot be executed from Sonoma, but you don't need to mind clicking Quit. Then insert the USB memory that you want to be the installation medium. This is a 16GB USB memory. It may include some data, but it is unnecessary, so insert it as it is. I will use the command listed on the previous page. Select the Ventura command from the beginning to the space after dash dash volume option and copy it with command plus C and launch the terminal. Paste the previous command with command plus V. I've copied it to the slash, so I'll delete the slash. The USB memory that I just inserted was recognized in this way. And I want to make this an installation medium. So I'll drag and drop this into the terminal. Then the path of this medium is displayed, so press enter. Put your password. Here, press Y and press enter. This will start to erase USB memory and write the installation medium. It will take some time for a while, so wait until it ends. Click OK. The writing installation medium is over. You can see that this disk image is displayed as Install Mac OS Ventura. Shut down. Here, disconnect the external hard disk for Time Machine Backup. Start Mac in recovery mode. Since this is M1 Mac, press and hold the power button to enter the recovery mode. Release it here. You can see three icons including the Ventura installation media now, but select this options and click continue. Mac OS recovery appears, but click erase Mac from this menu and click the erase Mac here. And click the erase Mac here. Here appears a message to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Click the Wi-Fi icon on the upper right of the menu bar to select the SSID you want to connect. Enter the Wi-Fi password. Click Join. When asked for your Apple ID, enter your email address. Enter your Apple ID password. So I succeeded in activation of Mac because it appeared with your Mac is activated. Click Exit to recovery. So shut down here because the erasure has been completed. Click shut down from the Apple Mac. This hard disk is connected via this adapter. The Ventura installation medium is also connected. In this state, press and hold the power button to start recovery mode. Select Mac OS Ventura and click continue. Select a language. I proceed with English. Click continue. Click agree. Select agree and select Macintosh HD and click continue. The installation has started, so wait for a while. The installation has been completed and the initial settings screen is now displayed. Select your country or region. I select Japan and press continue. Click continue. Click not now. 
Select the Wi-Fi SSID to be connected. Input Wi-Fi password. Click Continue. I'd like to recover the data from Time Machine Backup with Migration Assistant. So select the upper radio button and click Continue. I've connected the hard disk to my Mac, but it is not recognized. When I turned off the hard disk and turned it on again, it was recognized successfully. I select the Sonoma HDD and try to see if I can recover from the time machine backup taken on Sonoma. Click Continue. Click Continue. Click Continue with all checks. Click the set password and input the password and press enter. Input the same password here and click the set password. Click continue. The recovery from time machine backup has started. It will take some time for a while, so wait patiently. It seems that the data migration has been successfully completed. Click done. Log in. I couldn't enter the password for some reason. There is set up later button, so I will proceed to click this. Click skip and continue. I turned off the encryption option. The touch ID will also be set later. Click continue. The data has been recovered successfully. Disconnect the Time Machine Backup Disk. Even if I entered the keyboard, it will not respond. Only Enter key can be available. It seemed that the input source was wrong. After changing the input source, I was able to enter the character without any problem. In summary, I was able to downgrade from Sonoma to Ventura by installing with the Ventura installation medium after erasing my Mac. The time machine backup was taken in both Ventura and Sonoma. But the time machine backup taken by Sonoma was read and the data could be restored. Even if you miss backup on Ventura, you can recover the data from the time machine backup on Sonoma. I hope it'll be helpful for those who want to downgrade from Sonoma to Ventura. Thank you for watching my video to the end. Bye bye.